every time that the cast interacts physically with one of these aliens, it's something that we have made. You know, it's, it's a physical prop, it's there in the room. We built an entire full-scale alien for an autopsy scene that we've got in the movie. I love shooting the autopsy with the alien. Because you're in there and you get to see its guts and the elaborate work that the art department did on this massive creature. It's intriguing to look at. Joel Harlow, the makeup effects person, is unreal. The alien he built out of our designs matches the maquette exactly. The details within that alien body are, I don't know, I think they're great. They bring this thing out, which is seven feet tall. And it's got a tentacle coming out of its leg um, that's like 20 feet long. Uh, and then we have a puppet version, and I can manipulate the arms, and one of the guys in my shop, Lenny McDonald, manipulates the head. And it's a pretty impressive hunk of dead alien. It's so cool when the cast walks on and sees that alien all split up and gets them into the movie. They get excited. I, I like it. I mean, the gory looks of the creature itself, and I'm disgusted every time I look at it. So I think they're doing their job. <laughs> And now, I kind of understand uh, slightly the an anatomy of the damn thing. I, I think that's cool. Like, they're, they're making uh, conscious decisions on how it works. Jonathan didn't want to replicate or duplicate any other alien that was in another film. So this is totally original. We went through a lot of different concepts to sort of get the, uh, uh, the alien to a place where the director was comfortable. We looked at a lot of things out of nature. Strange insects, strange uh, sea life. Uh, or weird robotic devices. So we combined all those to come up with the alien design. You know, from that point, we broke it down and started building the skins and, you know, um, casting parts, what, what would be metal, what would be, you know, silicone, what would be skin, what would be bone, uh, and going through different phases of the process as far as painting and, and materials go. And then when Jonathan came into the shop, he was like, oh yes, there it is. You know, there's my, that's my creation. That's my monster, you know. Give me some running low on ammo stuff, guys. I'm running low on ammo. So here we are at the dam set. It's completely been destroyed by the aliens. This is our last chance to save Los Angeles. Crazy bastard, you should have left me there. What happens is they're able to actually go back into the battle zone and disable this uh, command and control center which controls the aliens air force. And the air force is the aliens advantage over us. So our guys actually are able, are instrumental in winning you know, the battle of Los Angeles. There's a real documentary style and when you put special effects within that, it just, there's a sort of fresh reality to it. Films that have shots set up specifically, specifically for special effects don't feel as exciting as shots where the special effects just happen to be there as if they were part of that world on the day and we just happen to catch them. Physical effects uh, men, uh, Stan Parks and Burt Dalton, I think are uh, exceptional. We have a large gas explosion this time. There's three poppers. See that popper over there? He's gonna be shooting at it, it explodes. Three, two, one. Oh, two, two, three. Really, as the director, you're very lucky. You're the least talented person in the room, and then when you see it all come together, you get to say that you directed that. And all you did was give people a couple of ideas, they ran with it and put it together. Take out that drone! Fire! CNC explodes. Three, two, one. Five gallon explosion with um, kind of an omni gerbs flying up 80 to 100 feet in the sky. All I ask is watch for fallout. In gerbs, it's a sparking mass that flies up. It's ignited by a, uh, a lifter and by the gas, and it's going to go 80 to 100 feet. It's like the ship crashed, yeah, blew up, skidded, and all, the skidded way all the way over the set. Battle of Los Angeles, we will succeed.